Good morning, parents. Buenos días, padres de familia. My name is Miss Gabby. I'm one of the teachers at the Bernie Head Start program. I'm very happy to welcome you to our second uh, video for parents. Remember, this is just for parents. Y recuerden que este video es solamente para ustedes, papás. Vamos a tener guías. We're going to have guidelines, you know, tips para que trabajen con los niños en la casa so you can work at home with your children. I hope you're doing great with your children. I know these are hard times. Reconozco que son unos tiempos difíciles. And uh, let's keep doing the hard work. I have heard beautiful things about the students working at home. He escuchado cosas increíblemente lindas de cómo están trabajando los niños en casa. Very proud of our community. And thank you. Thank you for working with us. Estoy muy, muy orgullosa de nuestra comunidad. Y gracias, gracias por trabajar con nosotros. Vamos a empezar, empezar con los mensajes rápidamente. First one, the in-kind form. Remember last week when I told you that I fill it out and then send it to the teacher, take a picture? That's done. No more. No more. ¿Recuerdan cuando les dije la semana pasada que lo tienen que llenar y después se lo mandan a sus maestras por, un, en, por medio de una foto en texto? You don't need, no necesita hacer eso ya. Yeah, you don't need to do that anymore. The program is going to send you a link with a monkey survey. And you will just answer, you know, whatever you need to answer about the weekly activities. El programa te va a mandar un link por texto y vas a abrirlo y ahí se, se llama Monkey Survey. Es, es, va a hacerte un, es un programa que te hace unas preguntas y tú lo contestas con, con clics. Va a ser muy sencillo. Va a estar en español también. It's going to be in Spanish and in English, so you can access to that. Um, also, now, now today we're going to work about, last week we talked about some early literacy skills, and today we're going to talk more about math, math skills. First, we're going to review some of the materials that you have at home. Let me show you this one, for example. We have this, oh, it's backwards. You see it? This is a math skill. So the way you do it, it because it's just in English, right? The way you do it is first you count. Before you color, you count. You have your ch child to count. You guide him, you know, and once the child counts them, then you say, okay, for example, the, the child counts and says, says that it, there are five, you know, five. Okay, do you see the number five? If your child, if your child doesn't, doesn't uh, see the number five, that's okay. That is okay. We are guiding them. So you can say, oh, this is the number five. Now trace a circle around. Entonces, el propósito de esta es que el niño cuente y que una vez que cuente el, el número de las formas, verbalmente, por ejemplo, que diga 5, usted le pregunta, ¿dónde está el número 5? Si lo reconoce inmediatamente, le dice, perfecto, ahora haz un círculo alrededor del, del, número, del número 5. Este, si tu niño no lo sabe, puede decir que de, diga 5, pero no se conoce el número 5, el símbolo, the symbol, he doesn't know that symbol, you just tell him, because of what we're doing, we're teaching them at home, correct? So, we tell them, les decimos, este es el número 5, traza un circulito alrededor del número 5, y así lo hacemos con cada una de las formas. Entonces, este es un ejemplo. Una vez que tu niño, una vez que tu niño ha terminado de hacer cada cuadro, puedes invitarlo a colorear. You can invite them to color. Ok, but the main purpose of this is counting verbally and then visually recognizing the number. El, el propósito más importante aquí es contar verbalmente y reconocer visualmente el número. Va a ser más fácil que tu niño cuente verbalmente, que reconozca el número. Ok, so este es un ejemplo. Ok, now some parents have told me, ah, oh, they don't want to see it long. You know what I tell you. The younger your child is, just give them, for example, ok, work in this. Let's, you should take three minutes, two minutes. And then the child can get a break and come back and work in this one. And then the child can get a break, go play and come back. We, can, we should give them breaks. We don't expect them to finish the whole thing unless they want the whole thing in one sitting. Um, some children might do that. Not all of them. Now, algunos padres me han dicho, es que no se quiere sentar. Bueno, vamos a romper la actividad en cuatro. 
Hago esta primera y si ya se cansó mi niño, dejo que se vaya a jugar y al rato le hablo que regrese y que ahora vamos a hacer el segundo. Y así, que se vaya a jugar y regrese, que haga el próximo y el próximo. No queremos que los niños rechacen las actividades porque son largas para ellos. Podemos romper las actividades. Digamos que, um, let's say that, that your child should work at least four or five minutes per, 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 per time and then give him a break, ¿ok? Tu niño debe trabajar cuatro o cinco minutos cada vez en cada actividad y dale un, acti un break. Si tu estudiante decide trabajar más, if your student decides to work more, let them do that. That's fine. But we don't want to force them because that can create kind of, you know, rejections to, to important aspects, aspects like learning mathematics, okay? So, este es un ejemplo de what you gotta do. Also, we have the butterfly in some place. Remember, the butterfly, you're, you first follow the numbers. You, know, all the, you color all the number ones, and then you color all the number twos. The idea is the child is consistently seeing the number one, seeing the number two, so when he's When he sees those numbers, they can recognize them later on. La idea de la mariposa es nada más colorear. Es si tu niño tiene que hacer uno, 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 uno y después dos, 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 dos. El objetivo es que tu niño aprenda a reconocer ese número visualmente. ¿Ok? Entonces, hay un orden. All the materials that we are providing, you have a purpose, a very specific purpose. So please talk to your teachers. It's very important that you talk to your teachers and communicate with them every day. So the materials are used um, in, a, in a way that is really uh, helping the students. Por favor, todos los materiales tienen un propósito de, eh, académico. Entonces, habla con tu maestra every day, every day. Todos los días habla si es posible con tu maestra, que hable con tu niño. Es importante esta relación para que nosotros podamos ayudarles a usar los materiales apropiadamente. Todos los materiales son intencionales y tienen un propósito específico. All materials, all materials that we're sending you are intentional and they have a specific purpose. Now, your house is a natural environment for learning and that includes math skills. What, what can you do at home? ¿Qué es lo que puedes hacer en la casa? Tu casa es un ambiente natural para aprender. Okay? En la casa pueden, at home you can count objects, contar objetos. You can find shapes, encontrar formas. You can talk about quantities when cooking. Hablar sobre las cantidades cuando estás co cocinando. One cup, uh, half a cup, uh, three spoons, and a quarter of, of a cup, etc. Uh, puedes usar cantidades, más, menos, una taza, tres cucharadas. All those things are natural at home. So you have plenty of opportunities to practice math skills. Todo, tu casa es una escuela natural. Tienes muchas oportunidades para practicar habilidades de matemáticas. Also, check the videos for Miss Jasmine. She has a lot of math uh, activities that are very, very uh, good for preschool children. Um, también puedes practicar a, a, at home spatial sense. Eh, locación de espacio in front, behind, in the middle, to the side, up, above, etc. Puedes practicar preposiciones de espacio como enfrente, atrás, adelante, en medio, sobre, alrededor, etc. All those are mathematical skills. And I will post something like that for you. Um, if you have a question about how, how is to use mathematical skills at home, please let me know. I will be very happy to, to answer you, but also Miss Jasmine, she's in charge of the mathematical skills. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> lastly, we talked about last week about recognizing your child's feelings. La, eh, ultimadamente, la semana pasada hablamos sobre cómo reconocer los sentimientos de tu niño. Te veo que estás enojado, triste, veo lágrimas corriendo, I see tears falling, I see your face all, you know, red, etc. So, that's the first step, step to helping a child to recover from those feelings. Recognizing that they have those feelings verbally, you know, uh, the emotional cue should transfer to a verbal cue. Okay, they need to link those emotions to words. Lo primero es recordar que tenemos que ayudar a nuestros niños a reconocer sus emociones y a relacionarlas con una palabra. Okay, eso se llama 
este em, eh, emotional language, se llama lenguaje emocional, that is called emo, emotional language. Y hablamos sobre quedarnos calmados como adultos. I know, it's hard. It is hard to stay calm, you know. It's hard to be sometimes with all what is going on at home. So remember, friends, in the morning, stretch. En las mañanas, papás, estírate. Respira profundamente. Let go. Respira. Let go. Si tu mente está tranquila, vas a poder ayudar a tu niño a resolver problemas. If your mind is calm, you will be able to help your student to solve problems. So it's very important that you get calm. Also, there's another exercise that keeps your brain going on. You know, you can cross like this. Doing this makes your brain, makes your brain get objective, get calm, wake up. Okay, or any cross lateral exercises, movements, helps our brain to stay in calm, you know, to work. So it is important that we do that every morning, if you can. Um, let me see. Uh, you can check Miss Arely's videos. She has a lot of calming strategies that work for children and for parents. Puedes checar los videos de Miss Arely's. Tiene muchas este, estrategias para calmar, para calmarnos, para niños y para adultos. Okay, now, now, You remember, we recognize first our children's feelings. Reconocemos los sentimientos de nuestros niños de una forma verbal. And second, we help them to get calm. Respira. Breathe. 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 Sí, we model. Modeleamos. Sí, ellos no tienen por qué saber. They don't have to know this. We model to them. No tienen por qué saberlo. Tenemos que enseñarles. Respira. Breathe. Are you calm now? Okay, then let's solve the problem. What's going on? Respira, ya estás calmado? Excelente. Ahora vamos a solucionar el problema. ¿Qué pasó? And then we can help the child to solve the problem. Remember, we are teaching them how to solve problems. And that starts with the emotions. Thank you for being here. And um, we appreciate all what you are doing at home, parents. Gracias por estar aquí. Apreciamos mucho lo que están haciendo en la casa. And let's keep working together to ensure that our children um, keep learning. Okay? Vamos a continuar trabajando juntos para asegurar que nuestros estudiantes sigan trabajando. Please leave any comments, suggestions or questions here uh, so we can help you. Por favor, deje cualquier mensaje, que, que pregunta, etc., comentario, so we can help you. Thank you and have a wonderful week.